Hi folks, this is the dresser element of the kit. Now this dresser is a beautiful vintage dresser image um, that I found. When I got it, it was on an angle like this and it wasn't going to work. So sometimes what I have to do is actually reconstruct the whole thing, which I've done with this one, so that the bottom and the top a parallel with the top and the bottom of a page so that when you come to use this in a collage type situation it will work anywhere even though you've still got this perspective there we go so you get the inside of the dresser and the outside of the dresser a grandfather clock and all these other little bits and pieces that we're going to use to adorn the dresser when we've put it together now if you've seen the fireplace video and the doors and the windows and the wardrobe you're not going to need me to demo how we go about opening the door here. From the top of the door, down to the bottom of the door, and then from the hinge at the top of the door, right the way across to the corner. Have I gone through? Yes, I have, just about. And then I'm going to make my little score line very gently. This sheet, as you can see, has been reverse printed with the wooden background that comes with the kit. That looks like that. I've printed these onto 300 gram card. You can use less if you want. I would recommend using a card for these so you get a nice sturdy door. But you can always double up if you use paper, thickish paper or thinner card. You can always glue a couple of pieces together. You could back this before you cut it, etc. But when you're using card like this and you glue two pieces of card together, you get a nice sturdy dresser when it's all done. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges of the door. I can ink the dresser as a whole when it's stuck together. But for now, I'll just do these door edges, or this door edge, to get rid of that white edge that you see on the paper. So there we go. We can now go ahead and glue this together obviously avoiding the door. There we go, now I'm ready to glue those two pieces together. Put one on top of the other and there we have our dresser. Now I have put a little piece in here as an extra. I'm not going to use it, it doesn't actually need it. But before, as I was designing the kit, I thought I'd give myself a closing mechanism. Before you glue these two pieces together, what you could do is get a brad, trim this down, it's too long and you always knew it would be, but get a brad off center and put it through this point here before you glue the two pieces together so that this would then open and close. And so this would hinge and close your dresser for you. You'd trim that down obviously. And you could even if you wanted to round off these corners with a pair of scissors. So that would be that mechanism. And I haven't done it. What I haven't also done here, which is an option for you, is if you glue just around this area here and up these two sides, you've then got a tuck spot inside the dresser. Alternatively, you can make yourself a tuck spot with oh, all sorts of different bits and pieces that are in the kit or a band going down this way. Or you could leave this unprinted if you wanted to put something else on the back there. So that's the dresser, that's the basic dresser. And with that, you've got all these bits and pieces that have been designed to fit on the dresser. And all the perspectives, etc., have been rejigged so that these things all work together and they all look good on the right sort of, and they're in the right sort of angle. There we go. Some of these bigger elements will fit nicely in the cupboard. You've got some little plates here that you can use to display. There we go. And there's this little doll here. What, oh, what we have got here, which is really fiddly, is a little pestle and mortar. Tiny little pestle and mortar. And what I want to do there is just make a slit following the curve of the outside of this. I don't know which bit it is. Is, is it the pestle or is it the mortar? Can you tell me? And so... Our little tiny other bit, either the pestle or the mortar, will then slip, once I've got this open, inside like that. So your pestle and mortar can sit on your shelf 
and this bit actually comes out. There you go. You can also do this with the bowl. Let's do it here. Don't go right to the edge, obviously, or you'll cut it in half. Make a nice firm slit along there. Then you've got a slit to put whatever you might want to put in there like that. That's your dresser all done. Let's go. Oh, there's a little vase here. I love this little vase. Look at that. There we go. There's my little arrangement. Oh, there's a flagon here. Will that fit? I don't think that fits on the top shelf. I think that was only ever going to fit on the bottom shelf. I didn't want to make it any smaller. So I made that sort of compromise. Let's get you further in there. So that will fit. And you've got these little bits and pieces and this lovely little doll. So there we go. That's the Welsh dresser. You also get the grandfather clock, which is a fun collage element relating to time and midnight. And it is actually five to 12 on this clock. <laughs> I was very specific when I was looking for my resources for these kits that the clocks had to say just gone midnight, midnight or just before midnight. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Have fun with it. I'd love to see what you do with it. Um, so share your photos with us as we go.